spirit junkie is someone who chooses to perceive their life with a loving lens, someone who chooses to live a life of forgiveness and compassion and gratitude. And I chose to title my new book Spirit Junkie because I have transformed my life and my perceptions from living in a much different way, living in a way where I was looking for happiness in all the wrong places and not as peaceful and positive as I am today. And as a result of making that shift, I chose to put down my fast-paced, fear-based lifestyle and become a spirit junkie. The single biggest factor that holds people back from being their happiest self is fear. The acronym for fear sometimes can be F everything and run, right? <laughs> um, or um, false experiences appearing real, right? But we just take these fear-based belief systems from our past and we replay them in the present and we project them onto the future and they become like a virus in our mind. And these fear-based belief systems keep us stuck, they keep us small, they hold us back. And worst of all, they multiply. So if we do not become conscious of those fear-based belief systems, then we cannot transform them. And so a primary principle of the course as well is to become very aware of the fear-based mind and to not judge your fear with your fear, but to be very gentle and willing to look at your fear so that you can allow the transformation to occur. I would describe myself as a translator for my generation. I believe that I am a rock and tour. I tell stories of love and light and miracles, and I tell stories in a way that is really relevant to the new generation of seekers. I am here to expand the spiritual lexicon for this new generation and make spirituality fun and relevant and hip and I say things rather than saying Holy Spirit I say ing which is inner guide and rather than talking about myself as a spiritist I say I'm a spirit junkie and it is very very important as a translator to understand that the messages have to come through me in an authentic way as a student and a teacher of A Course in Miracles you are guided to teach in a way that is authentic to you and your students that will vibrate and resonate with you will show up in droves because when that message is really clear, really authentic and true, then the audience can really resonate.